tiny river was this big, it seems like. Now, just suddenly, it's so good to have you here, sweetheart. <laughs> Excuse me a second. Annie, you're all right? Yeah. I'll be back. Right. I'll be back. Please come in. Thank you so much for agreeing to officiate at Blair and Walker's wedding. But where is your lovely young bride? I didn't realize she was invited. Well, of course she is. You call her up, tell her to come right over. I'll do that. I don't think she has any classes today. I know, it feels like deja vu all over again, doesn't it? Yep. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> well, third time is charm. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you really going to get married this time? Well, you ready, Shorty? I think you should call it off. What? Why? I don't know. I just don't want to jinx it. I just think that you, me, Jack, and Mom should go elope somewhere. Listen to me. Nothing bad is going to happen today. I won't let it. said that Kelly's already left for the wedding. I take it that means you're not going. Well, I haven't decided yet. this job and you're moonlighting on me, but I'm here to give you oral support anyway. So I say we have a toast. I hear a nasty rumor they give freebies to roommates. Roxy, I just started. Hey, I'm not here to mooch. I'm here to munch. I'll tell you what. This one will be on me. Oh, my favorite kind of bartender. Thanks, huh? Ooh. What kind of rock gun is that? That would be club soda. You're hypoglycemic, remember? Oh, man. Bites to be a virgin again. So other than this little incident, how's your day today, honey? Don't think much of the clientele. Hey, don't trash Rex. He's kind of sort of your brother, you know. I'm not talking about Rex. Pull up a chair. Isn't three a crowd? Uh, not for me, but uh, I think Rex might like it if it was just the two of you. What did you tell her? Nothing. Chill. Have a drink with us. I gotta go. Oh, hey, oh, hey, what's your hurry? You just got here. Hello? Hey, could you come over to Dorian's house for Blair and Walker's wedding? They'd like you to be here and... So would I. Listen, I can't. Well, I thought you didn't have any classes today. No, I don't. I just, um, not really up for a wedding. Oh, um, are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm kind of tired, and, you know, I just have this really bad headache. Where are you? The student union. Oh. Well, you better get home and take care of that headache. Yes, okay, okay, I'm gonna go right home. I love you. You too. Bye.
thank you for inviting Jen, but she's not feeling well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Nothing serious, I hope. No, no, just a headache, but um, if you don't mind, I won't stay for the reception. I hope Jennifer knows how lucky she is. Hey. I'm the lucky one. Do you need any help with anything, Dorian? Oh, you're sweet, but you have only one responsibility today. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> well, I appreciate the invitation. Thank you. Not at all. You're family now. And we Kramers stick together. All right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I see you have gathered the family for my announcement. Attention, everyone. I realize I need no introduction. All of you have heard of your Aunt Betsy. That's why you're here. Excuse me. The history of the Kramer family. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What the hell does this have to do with my wedding? What? Wedding? Blair's and mine wedding. What, do you think these people are here to see you? We'll have the family meeting later, Aunt Betsy, just for you. Blair and I are getting married today, so either you shut up and sit down, you go upstairs, or get out, all right? Nothing's stopping this wedding today. Not you, not you, not any of you. You got me? Um, perhaps you would like to uh, stay and join us for the festivities. Walk. The last time I wasted my time at a wedding was your father's and that lunatic he married went and killed him. Yes, well, I don't think any of us need to be reminded of that today. <laughs> Aunt Betsy doesn't like men or young people either. I think you'd better hide. I will be up in my room, but just don't keep me waiting too long or all of you will live to regret it. Let me help you, if I may. Who are you? I'm Paul. Oh. Your niece Melinda's son. Well, at least one of you ingrates has got some manners. I am not getting cold feet, Kelly. Well, you did last time. Well, that's because I didn't know if I could trust Walker, but now I know I can. And what changed? Me. I made a lot of mistakes since Todd went from wrong relationship to wrong relationship. And you think Walker is the right guy? Yeah, I do. You know, it scared me at first because I don't think I was really over Todd. Are you now? Yeah. And you know when I realized that? When that elevator door opened up and I thought that Walker was dead in there and it... Why did you bring that up? It's my wedding day. I'm I, supposed I, to be happy. I know, Stop I'm sorry. It. Just, I'm and as long as you on. are happy, that's oh. all that matters. Just look at her mother. She is positively radiant. Thank you, Cassie. And I know that you had your uh, reservations, Dorian. As did you. Well, I did, but I've never been more sure of anything in my life. Then that's all that matters. Well, thank you. Oh, darling. Thank you so much for making this a special day for me, really. Blair. What? Photographer wants to take pictures of you before you come down. Okay, 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 okay. You okay. tell him that I'll be right there. Okay. okay? All right. Be right there. Go get the show on the road. All right, sweetie. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Uh, <clears throat> what? What? What is wrong? Nothing. Kelly, hey. This is going to be great for all of us, really. I hope so. You know, you were worried about Kevin and me. I am so not interested in your husband. I am going to marry Walker, all right? Look, and you of all people should be happy about that. So be happy. I am. Really. Well, I can't go to the wedding because I have to finish this speech for the convention in Saranac. Besides, I wasn't invited. Dorian isn't exactly my biggest fan. As you know, the groom and I are the best of friends. Well, that's four more excuses than you needed. Why don't we deal with the real reason? The bride. Sweetie, I know how hard this is for you. It must be killing you that she's going to marry somebody else. Kevin. Honey, she doesn't love you. She's in love with another yeah, man. Yeah, but he's not just another man. It's Todd. 
That's right, it's Todd. Well, how would you know this? I've known him for a while. Oh, okay. Uh, what would make you think that? Well, because I have proof, okay? I've got proof. I know that he's your brother, and I'm sure that you're shocked about the whole thing, but I have to decide whether I'm going to go over there before she marries him and tell her everything. Soapnet's Valentine Vows Marathon, brought to you by Activia. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 you're pouring a fifth into that eyeball. What? Oh. Yeah, that's because you're checking out that Rexy situation over there. I, I was just checking to see if they needed their drinks refilled, that's all. Oh, uh, from where I'm sitting, I think they're doing just fine, honey. I just, I don't, I don't understand. Why is he even wasting his time on Jen? Duh, because he's in love. No. No? Then why'd he marry her? He married her for like two minutes for her trust fund. Then why is he hanging around with her? It's because he's playing her. He, he's, he's, he's trying to get back at her and Joe. Oh, really? Because that's not what I'm seeing. He's my baby boy. And I think he's bitten by the love bug, honey. Well, I'm going to excuse myself to the little girl's room. Um, don't do anything that I haven't. You too. Glad you stayed. Oh, I just wanted to straighten things out about the other night. Right, when we were going to make love. No, we were not. It got pretty damn close before your hubby came home. Any closer, and you couldn't have wedged a crowbar between Stop us. Stop it. I was just confused, and and I was lonely, and I, you know what? You took advantage of that. That's your spin. It's the truth. We both know what really happened. You can't stop thinking about it, can you? How are you guys doing with those margaritas? If you had enough, I mean, I can go get the bill so you can go. Natalie, how long have you been working here? First day. Does Joe know you're here? I just um, stopped by here on the way back from campus. We'll have another picture. Oh. Jen, are you sure that it's wise that you're drinking? I mean, I, I know that you and Joe are trying to get pregnant. Okay. Excuse me. What? What are you doing? Well, I mean, doesn't she know that it, it's bad to be drinking when she's pregnant? You don't care squat about her. Yeah, well, she doesn't care about you either, okay? I'm trying to look out for you. I don't, okay? Just because you don't have anything else to do right now. Um, sorry. Look, come on, Nanny, you gonna get those margaritas or not? here, if you don't believe me. Photos, medical records of Todd's reconstructive surgery, everything that I need to prove to Blair that she's marrying Todd and not Walker Lawrence. I gotta say, you don't look very shocked, Mom. Kevin, even if this is well, true... What do you mean, if? It, do you think it's right for you to break up Blair's wedding? Look, I know that this is your brother and you love him and everything. I get that. But what about Blair? What about the kids? Don't you think they have a right to know? But they love Walker. Oh, it's not even Walker! Mom? What happens when they find out? And that you knew and you didn't tell him. You kept it from him. It is not my place to tell her, nor is it yours. Oh, come on. This is Todd. He's going to keep it from him for as long as he can get away with this. How can you let this happen? Honestly, how can you stand there and let her marry him when you know the whole thing is a lie? Mom, are you ready? Because we don't leave now. We're not going to make the wedding in time. 